Hi friends, we'll create these identity cards or ID cards in PDF by using our report lab and we'll use a blank template and to that we'll add the data here we have added the data and the, along with that image also and next we'll see how we can take the data from a Kinter table say we have uh, we have a Kinter window here there is names IDs we can change the thing pick up an image from our local system and on submit this data will be used and generate the ID card similarly we can take data from a SQLite or MySQL suppose we have multiple rows of data from there we can dynamically create multiple uh, ID cards by taking the data and along with the image also we'll mix and create the ID cards in, in bulk we'll learn all about this let's understand the template there are two files we'll be using one is our main file and another one is our template file so in the main file we'll call the template file so let's understand the main file first here it is our report lab canvas we are importing and if you are not uh, so far not followed our uh, uh, series on the particularly this PDF creation using the report lab and all the link is at the bottom you just read it at least first three parts you must read and then subsequently you can easily understand what is report lab and how in Python platform we can use it this particular path is where will our PDF file or the ID card will be generated we are now targeting a single ID card so where it will be generated now again I am dimensions I am importing and watch this line this line is our it is calling the template from the file tk id card temp file i am importing my temp my temp is the my template you can just see here this is the tk id card temp file is here and here is the function my temp so we, we are just importing that and using it so before using what we are saying is c it's a canvas and a size of 400 300 we are taking path here whatever we are declaring the path we have already this is where it will be saved here at line number two and page size of 400 by 300 you can not change it change the size here then passing this particular object and getting the C now this one when you are calling and passing the particular value of C here now this will uh, takes the data here and will will add our template code here and then create the template so that will be called here and then to the template we'll be adding our data now what happens if this simple i will run this one what happen a blank window will be or blank id card will be created i just saved it once now let me go here run it i'll just refresh this one only so this is the same one so here we'll first include the template inside this template file let's first set the font so c dot set font we are uh, starting our front whatever the fonts are supported you can get a list also uh, in the part one I think we have discussed about that okay this is the font I am uh, family I am setting and the size I am setting 14 you can change it based on our, your requirement now let's uh, some select some color c dot set uh, stroke color set stroke color fine so we will say stroke color is 0, 0 0.1 now again 0 0.8 RGB values we are setting now now G sorry 0 0.1 so this is the set stroke color we have given font color also we have given now let's go to the next is fill color C dot color RGB now this is the values we are giving now now let's say blue blue will set it so 0 0 1 RGB so it will entirely blue now now what happened we, we, we just want to place our image at the top so it's a logo in your case also you can write whatever image we have so I am saying draw image now where it is my images it is in the D D drive in your case it will be a different location you can change it it's a jpg file now where it is positioned minus 0 0.9 multiplied by inch that is the one dimension then 2.6 
actually this minus 0.9 is from the left edge minus why because watch this diagram here the margin 0 0 point is fixed so minus means towards the left of the margin so 2.6 into inches fine let's just see how this looks some mistakes here set font color and set stroke color here at right rgb okay then fill color set here at right set fine let's save it and we'll come back to our main file and run the main file so we are running the main file now fine let's go and see how is our pdf generated now if you run our pdf file refresh it you can get it the only the image part has come now the rest of the things will fill after placing our logo let's place the watermark i am just copied the four line of code and added it here first what you are doing is we are rotating by 35 degree because we have to rotate the it's a watermark across in a corner to corner so you are 35 and here we have restored it because the rest of the font we will write it in a normal so plus 35 and then we have restored it back by giving minus 35 then again fill color we have given a color what color you want the color to be then our font also size then we are written the string draw string we have written from the left and at this location x and y values minus 1.1 we are started from the bottom left corner and and y position also given and we have written the in our watermark sample let me just save this and we are running the main file not the sorry this one is our main file so this file we are running it not the template one so let's okay no error let us go there and refresh it and see the watermark i'm just refreshing this file you can see the watermark sample has come up after this line we'll add our uh, heading there we read that identity card that's what we are at these three lines of code again i am fill color i am changing and font i am slightly bigger font to 25 i have set and this is the location you may ask how i know this location because these are all by trial and methods and you may want it at a different location and all but you have to change it and it is not at one go we find out at 1.7 it is 1.7 is from the left edge horizontally so x position and 2.3 is our y position let me just save it and come and run the main file once so the pdf is generated once again yes it is generated now let me just move here refreshing this page let's just see here it is the identity card is written we'll write the labels now so we'll say the id name class gender all those stuff will write it so for that again the same foot and uh, draw the string i am just pasting it here this has to move a bit here so the font color slight i have given this time a different black color i have given and draw st uh, right string because here i want all the id name class gender and signature this should be right aligned the font should be if by default it is left aligned so i in the in place of when we place our data res with respect to this we'll do a draw string so that will be left aligned so here we have given the right aligned i'm just saving this now let me run it once again here i will just uh, run this let me refresh this page and see how the pdf is you can see the id name class gender labels have come and all are right aligned the text is because that particular function like that we have used now one more thing bottom on line and the copyright sticker we will put place it there after this we'll place the line and the copyright symbol so here we, that is what we have written let me end this at the top we'll align so here is the line so a fine line you are giving and font we are reducing because at the bottom we want to write it in a small font and color we have changed again we are given to red so rgb red is one so others are zero so it's a red font and here it is our uh, uh, text what you are written and this is the copyright symbol this particular one so this we have uh, added to our card now now with this our template is ready let's go back to our main run this file and see how does you are no error now let's just go here and refreshing this let's see yeah here you can see the fine line and the uh, c symbol or the copyright symbol you can see here 
yeah so you can see this this has come up now using this template we will add data now let's add the data first here are the three lines you can see so from here I'll just move it up this three lines you just see this is our data so my image because we are using one image so here is the path of it so you in your case this may differ you may have put up uh, how your image in a different location now here are the four variables we are defining one is ID next is name class and gender ID is 15 name is here K A L U and class is 4 and gender is female so these are the four variables plus one image we are we are going to use it now let's just see what is how you place the image here we are just placing the image so you can see my image my here is the path and at the location 2.2 this is the x uh, from the left side this is 2.2 into inches and from the y coordinate it is at a 0 0.7 so you can see this from this diagram you can understand which particular position this image will go now let me just save it we, we though we have declared it we have not placed it in the this uh, four variables sorry here the four variables we have not placed it in our uh, as a data in our ID card so this will not be variables uh, this data will not be displayed but the image we have drawn here draw image so will this should be visible let me just run this and go here refresh this so I will just refresh this here it is the image is image has shown up now the ID name class this four variables will place it we'll add the data now so here are the all the four variables I am placing it here so see this code what I am doing is here RGB this is the color what I am setting RGB so blue color font we are using B is 1 red and green are 0 now 20 is the font size and the font family I am using now after this here you see the draw string draw string means this by default these are left aligned if you see remember in the in the template we have all used draw right string means these are all right aligned whatever the uh, templates we have used so now the draw string means it is the left aligned by default it will be aligned left so you can see here all the x coordinate or the from the left edge all are equal because it is left aligned and whatever the length of that let it be float uh, move towards the right so at the first our name we, sorry first we are giving the ID now because ID is an integer you can just see here yeah here it is ID is 15 we have placed sorry let me move up up to this ID is 15 here so this value we are converting into a, a using str converting into a string and then placing it now name directly we are placing the name because it's a string and similarly the class also only you just see here that the y coordinate or the vertical coordinate is changing so less then less then less because from the top we are coming so 1.7 is the vertical position y coordinate then 1.3 then 0 0.9 0 0.5 so 0 0.4 it is reducing whereas x coordinate is same because all are at a equal distance from the left edge and my name my class and my gender these variables we are taking from here so this is what we have set it now the idea here is these variables here we have directly written it in the next part we'll take it from a kinter window so you can change the value now right now directly here you can make it 16 also or 18 whatever you want to change it and the name also you can change it but better to give a user interface will in the part 2 we'll take it from a kinter window and in part, th part 3 we'll take it all along with the pic photos and this will take it from a database like SQLite or MySQL or from a Excel page and then we uh, will in a bulk will generate say around 40 ID cards we will generate it in a field so this is how will be now let's uh, save this I am running once here is the output I am refreshing this page here you can see all the data 18 Kalu and name and class and the gender so this is how we can push image and as well the data but here again next part will take the data from a kinter window so you can user in user can change the data and generate the uh, ID card that's all and next we'll move to database so I request you 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो विल बी नोटिफाइड एज एंड वेन वी एड न्यू न्यू ट्यूटोरियल्स वी फ्रिक्वेंटली डू दैट एंड प्लीज शेयर दिस विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग